So, as I mentioned before, prophetically, God showed me someone taking too much interest in seeing me in the back of the lot, which made me, made me realize I was being targeted for something, and at some point that woman and her children or her children would come and talk at me. She did precisely that. She drove beyond me so that I would be sort of looking away from my pack and dealing with her. She tried to play me with a bag of food. I simply apologized and said, I'm sorry, I can't usually accept bags of food because I have so many allergies. And she didn't want to believe me about my situation with water. She's also not somebody who lives in the street, so she doesn't necessarily understand how things work. She definitely tried to play me with some flavors that I like, and she probably heard that from her husband named Brian, who is a technology employee at the University of Illinois, who did one time help me in winter. He tried to give me a breakfast sandwich when I'd already had breakfast, and I said, that's not really what I need. What I really need is hot hands, and I pretty much schooled him and said, look, you want to help me, ask me what I need, and I'll tell you. And he very graciously in that moment understood a little bit of my fortitude and did ask me, and he actually did come back with the hot hands, which is a tool that we can use to keep our hands warm. I was really grateful. The challenge I have today that is allegedly this man Brian and his other friend who has also helped me on campus have constantly continued to talk about me. My concern is why? They have said many times that they haven't seen me on campus, but how many times did they see me on campus and drove by and didn't do anything? Now, I believe one of the brothers I had actually, uh, and friends, I had actually done a reading for that was pretty dead on money. I think I also remember giving him a few things in consideration of his kindness of him either getting me something or giving me some cash. I can't remember. I think he might have given me some cash for my ministry, and I appreciated that. But if you're trying to help me, then you need to pass along to your marvelous wife and children how you help homeless people. And I did school the girl in what she should have done. And that is to ask me what I need or to provide me a gift card so that I could get what I need to get at the right time.